Hello everybody, Isaiah is here with Daily Magic Games. And David. And today we have the... Assembly proofs. Of the big box uh, Shadow Veil Kickstarter. The Shadow Veil... Upside, upside down. down. Retail version. And then we have this uh, Relics uh, expansion pack. We packed it just like the other ones, but it's not going to go to retail. It'll be, I guess, on BGG, in our store, yeah. at conventions, different things like that. Yes. So this pack is in the Kickstarter copy, so I don't think we'll open that one. But we will open this retail version mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Let's do the big box first. Okay. Let's do the big box first. Okay, so this is the big box for... Uh, uh, Valeria Card Kingdoms. Oh, here's yeah, so there's so. the big brother. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. It's for uh, Valeria Card Kingdoms or Valeria Card Kingdoms or Valeria La Royale, La Royale. and Valeria Königreich der Karten. <coughs> yeah, uh, so since we are doing a kind of smaller run, because um, it is kind of a limited exclusive. We decided to join up all the different languages so that we could do a bigger run of the same box and then make it a reasonable price to make it for everybody. And that was at the urging of the backers because we had originally planned to have no title on it anywhere. Yeah. We figured you knew the art from the Miko, you knew what was in the box, that's all that counted. But the backers wanted the name on there somewhere, so we did it. Yep. This is the back of the box, by the way. Front of the box. Okay, so let's slice it open. We have not looked at these things yet. Um, I know for a fact that the dice are not in here because they're not done making them yet. And we do not know how exactly they're gonna look. So um, in talking to the manufacturer, we couldn't do marbled white dice because when you mix that, it essentially just makes gray. So we kind of decided on it, it's kind of like a it's kind of a freckled white. Freckled white. Kind of yeah. freckled, yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of not going to be exactly like the initial idea that we had, but it'll still kind of... The idea was that it should look like bones, right? Kind yeah, of a, that was your idea, yes. That was the, the shadow veil, the, you know, death and whatever. Death and so, horror. Death and horror. <laughs> <laughs> what we're best at, death and horror. Okay, so... This has... Foam. Foam. Has has uh, six compartments for all the different token types. Uh, so you got strength and gold and magic. And then you've got a place for your uh, multiplier tokens, and a place for more dice. And this place at the bottom down here is going to be where you can store these nifty cool little special for the big box tokens. This is a uh, uh, first player token. It's enamel, coin, very pretty, very solid. It's heavy. Uh -huh. <laughs> it could hurt somebody. And this is the resting token for when you're playing with five players. That the uh, you know play to the person to the uh, active player's right gets this one, mm -hmm. and has to sit out the resource collection for that, for that round. Yeah. And both of these will be in the box already. When yeah. You, when you get that. So these, these were done with from different manufacturers, so yeah. they're done and they're being shipped to these guys, right? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're already made, they're already on their way to the factory yeah. where they're going to pack up all the, the, good, the doodads. So mm -hmm. this will have the two coins, the two dice, and that's it. Yeah. So we have a, a yeah. ton more storage in this one. I hope it, it's it's enough for another two, three expansions. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I guess it depends on if you sleeve your cards or not. That's the big deal. Uh, yeah. yeah. But. Someday you may need to have two of these boxes to hold all the Valeria stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the well covers for the uh, tokens so they don't escape and get out and get run around the box. So, it uh, looks pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I will have to check it later and make sure all the cards uh, fit in there properly, but it looks good to me at this point. So, there it is. Cool. Out of the way. Next. So, then we have the... Uh, oh, the foam goes in there, too. Shadow Veil uh, Kickstarter version. It, we did a kind of little small 
rules sheet book thing. But that's what that is. And then we have a bunch of a bunch of cards, the tabbed dividers. This actually this is, the, relics. this is the relics pack. So this is what What's is in? in this thing already. So and then a uh, ton of new dividers for the new cards. Of course. Yep. And then more cards. More cards. Yeah. Lots of cards. So yeah. I on mean the, on the surface this looks like it's packed fine. Yep. And it's basically just like Flames and Frost. It's kind of just a little cardboard thing and yeah. It's intended that you'll put this with your main game. Right. Yeah. Whether you're getting the, the new big box, or if you don't sleeve your cards, you can fit it into the original box. Yep. So, yeah. I guess, again, we'll go through all of these cards. Mm hmm Try to find something. And if we don't, then we'll move forward. Right. Um, in moving... And once we approve this, then they will finish up the the uh, final production, which is basically cutting up all the print sheets and stuffing everything into the boxes and making the carton cases and getting it all ready to be shipped out. And then we'll send it to the freight forwarder and then we'll ship all this uh, to all the uh, fulfillment hubs around the world. Yep, so there is a lot of different SKUs here. It was a bigger project than mm -hmm. Initially, we thought it was just going to be this box and this this thing, but I, it grew, which we're really happy about, and you know, thank you for your support. Um, but it looks like everything's on track. Yes, uh, we expect to have this one in your hands probably by before the end of January. Cool. All right, so thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.